What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another rendition of the show with no name. As you can see right now, we have a beautiful location, something new, bring you new footage every time we come through. We're located in a store called Inlight, and we're located in the wonderful neighborhood of Winwood. To my right is my co-host. R.E.B. Souls, how y'all doing today? And you should already know my name. 1992 OG, man. So, we're here in Winwood today, and we're just hanging out. You know, we came to shoot our location. You True see, vibes. See, we got a bunch of Supreme on the table. You know what we're going to talk about. You know what we're here for. But I just want to give, bring somebody onto the set that's going to bring a little love, bring a little originality from Winwood, from where it all started, give us a little bit of background so you guys can't be coming out here not right, you know, not really knowing where you at, get you some history. Hey. And he's going to talk about his store. In life. Come Let's on in, Grant. Let's bring it to the stage. Hey, hey, hey. Grant! How you guys What's doing? up, baby? Good to see you, baby. <laughs> Good to be here. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. So, <laughs> we're here. In life. Yeah. Winwood. Yeah. All right, man. So, what's up with Winwood, man? Bye. Can we give us uh, a little bit of a background, background so people can know the, the history of how we got to this this point, like all this art, this, yeah. these wonderful stores, all these nice mm -hmm. bars, all of that, man. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so there was a family, one single family actually from New York, a, a, the matriarch of the family was a real estate developer uh -huh. and literally came into this block right here, Northwest 2nd Ave, mm -hmm. and bought everything from one street to this street on both sides yeah. and rented it or, or you know provided it to, to artists mm -hmm. um, part of the deal was you know you, you're gonna live here you're gonna paint the walls you're gonna you know change the face of the, of the city yeah make so it, make it beautiful so when would yeah when, that's a big element graffiti the graffiti element yeah. the graffiti culture the street art yeah, street and graffiti art, mm -hmm. culture um, is a big element, a big reason why Wynwood is the way that it is today. Yeah. Um, and the way this family went about like orchestrating that was they started renting these spaces to artists. They could have a studio here. Obviously an artist that doesn't have, you know, much income, he's making street art, he's gonna live in that studio. Of course, of course. So of course. once once that happened, every artist they needed a coffee shop, you get me? So one of the very first businesses to ever open up is actually right across the street, Panther Coffee. You get me? It's been here from, you know, almost almost day one. Um, the artists were living here. That brought the gallery owners and an entire art market, basically. Um, all of the galleries were, at the time, private, you know, appointment-only type of uh, setups. Okay. And so to see any of the work, you yeah. had to be an art dealer, or in our buyer, and there was a lot of exclusivity. Going it was on. it was yeah. very exclusive. Very the, the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and it was so it was a very hidden gem. Um, but the city council or like the neighborhood council, they kind of had this idea of the you know the development company probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they right. said, hey, we're gonna open it up once a month for Art Walk, and that's when Art Walk started. That's how Art Walk yeah, started. Yeah, right yeah. And then once people started coming, what happened is the very first time, the, the few first of the Art Walk events, all of the liquor companies would sponsor each and every gallery. Wow. So it became, from day one, it was yeah, like... they need to bring that culture back. Go to Wynwood, see the art, That's get like a New drink. York. Yeah. That's you know, like New and, York and vibes. Culture vibe, yeah. They've been having you know, those vibes come out, yeah. you know, they'll, they'll yeah. sponsor an event and they'll right. have a whole party going on. Right. And That's right. why it's so popping there. Mm -hmm. We want and that it, culture. And it wasn't yeah. bullshit... Company. Exactly, it's Hennessy. You it know, yeah, Daniel does. A, I did one that I went to. And Jameson is always out here. Yeah, things, oh, so yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but like Jack Daniels, huge yeah. brands, Bombay, mm -hmm. which is owned by Bacardi. You know, right. like all these massive brands, and they would they would sponsor, and so it'd be literally free alcohol, and come see this art. And that turned into a major party. I mean, it was. There's no way that's not going to become a hot event. Right. Mm -hmm. And it would bring. <laughs> It started to bring hundreds of people, then thousands of people, then t then you know ten, and then it turned into ten thousand people, and, <laughs> and then yeah. Well, Art so Art Basel came a little later. So Art yeah. Basel is the actually now Art Basel's all over Miami. It started 
in this neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. they, they're starting here. Yeah. They say that Art Basel is like technically on Miami Beach, but really the real events yeah, that's only just because the Miami Convention yeah. is over. Yeah. Yeah. Convention like the Center, the art, excuse yeah. me, is over there. Yeah, yeah the yeah. art centers and all that stuff like that is over there. But yeah, yeah man. So that's a good little bit of history or whatever. So man, now it's just straight party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now it's like just, all like now it's just a bar restaurant, like bar, party. Park your car and hope for the best. Yeah, take pictures no. in front of the hard work. Yeah, definitely take pictures in front <laughs> of the hard work. Definitely taking pictures in front Especially of the hard work. Especially when hardware. they're doing it currently yeah. and you're yeah, going to watch you that. You actually see it take place. No. That's the one dope thing about Winwood. You, you, you might can catch someone. Like, yeah, really it's really always good. changing. I the walls are always that. changing. I everything. Love yeah, that. mm-hmm. that's great. That's the best part about being here. But yeah, man. So definitely take the opportunity because another yeah. thing. Come on down. Come on down to Miami. There are a lot of very, very renowned street artists. Yes, that have, have yes. art here in Linwood. Alec Monopoly, he's got like the whole real well, estate down the well, street. Right there. across the street from this shop is a mural by Retina, who is like a, my God, one of the most coveted street artists oh, yeah. right now. So yeah, he did man. like Justin okay. Bieber's album yeah. cover last year. Wow. Oh, with wow. the, 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 wow. um, the typography? Yeah. yeah so that's a, that's a language that okay. he created if I'm not mistaken. Wow. And yeah, I don't know if anyone can like read what it says. Maybe there's some kind of no, cypher. I know, yeah. But I think I it's, mean, it's, it's the way I look at it, it's art. I think it's fun that, yeah. that he did it and that it caught on and he did like the Louis Vuitton store years yeah. ago. He did the Louis Vuitton store. He did DJ Coming Khaled's the studio. Yeah. I've seen sold, DJ Khaled's studio He before. sold a piece to Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres and the dude's work, a little, you know, six and a half by That's 11 dope. piece of work is, uh, is like 85,000. Dope. Now at Art Basel, when I went to Art Basel this past year, it's an eighty-five thousand dollars piece yeah. of cardboard. See, it's all about the co- yeah. yeah collecting, art. man, art. Yeah, similar to this. Yeah. So how I mean, much is, how much is this worth? <laughs> this ten uh, cent sticker is worth how much? The, the, the zero, yeah, the zero. <laughs> yeah. You can eat free. <laughs> this is this is a fine art in and of itself. Yeah. It is. It you is. Know? So yeah, man. So. Now that we got the history of Winwood out of the way, how'd you get here? How do we how do we get in light? How do we what do you sell? How did you get to the to yeah, yeah, your yeah, whole vision yeah. behind your in light, man? Like, Tell us, man, we want to so be business on this one day like first here. the first thing that I should say is like following your passion. Oof. You know? You gotta, gotta put that in the quotes. In the editing. Sure. You gotta, follow your passion. You gotta follow your Dash. passion. Like great. Like, <laughs> James Jebbia, when he when he went and said, "Oh, you know, I want to start a brand," it wasn't to make money. Yeah, Supreme was never in it for the money. He was just he was trying to put on. He was just putting yeah. clothes on his you people know? that skated. That's it. And and actually, actually, he loved the skate shop atmosphere the vibe more than it. the clothes, more than anything. He loved to sell. That's why Supreme will always sell skateboards. They will always sell trucks. They will always sell wheels. Because you know, skate shop. He I said really, this yeah. time and time again. They will always do it because it that was the basis of the culture. Supreme, mm-hmm. um, and before that, a concept he was involved with, Stussy, they were all skate shops. They all made skate yeah, wear. Exactly. Yeah. It's street evolved wear. now into what we call street wear. Yeah. You know, just like graffiti is now evolved into yeah. street, street art. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you yeah. not even a joke, by the way. Um, we're here to educate people okay. on street Topics such as art, culture, streetwear, why are these brands so coveted? Mm -hmm. You know, why is this brand from Japan so renowned? Why is it so iconic? Why is it so expensive? You know, answering people's questions about what they come into the store, we have everything from exotic soda to exotic cereals astro food you know pyro pet candles it's like this crazy thing that's got like a like a skeleton wireframe skeleton of an animal inside you light the candle and the wireframe skeleton gets wax all melted on it like why would i buy one of these 38 dollar candles yeah like so i would because it's dope that's why number one we're here to educate the public on like things like this sell a bunch of Streetwear, sell a bunch of oddities, sell a bunch yeah. of very interesting things. So I love it. We have a Beyond section at the back of the store. <laughs> so it's like. Come through and check them out. Enlighten Beyond. Enlighten Beyond. 
<laughs> come check out the store to find to, out what the Beyond is. You have is. to come in. <laughs> see the Beyond section. Check it out. <laughs> yes. Right on the main check street, man. Out. across from Coyo yeah. Taco, bro. Yeah, so come check it out. Come check out in life. Two, three, four, five, Northwest Second Avenue. <laughs> We're gonna have that easy on the bottom. We have no problem putting it right on. It's an easy address to remember. Listen, just look for the logo outside, baby. Yeah, but, <laughs> I'm sure but, it makes you think about something. So, so we being educators, right? We being uh, following our passion, just sharing it with people. Essentially, that's what we do. Yeah. But okay. what we sell, and I do this with every employee that we hire. I, I train them all personally. There we go. What we sell is infinite satisfaction. If you walk into Enlight, there's a there's a sticker on the door, right? It says mm-hmm. Enlight. But underneath it, it says infinite satisfaction. That's the product that we sell. I love wow. that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Don't steal that. It's cop- <laughs> the store is really, really dope. You should come by and check it out, man. Yes. Come cop a soda. Come cop a box of cereal. Definitely very happy when I walked in the this front guy, door. This guy sells baby hair. Whatever you think, whatever you could imagine, right. he's got it in his store. Limited edition. The thing that I'm... Babe is cool, but I'm always on to the next thing. And I'm gonna, I want this on video. Uh oh. Uh oh. Exclusive. Like exclusive. exclusive. <laughs> I want this on video now in what is it? What year are we in? Uh, 2019. 2019. Sunday, March 24th. A, a document of history, okay? <laughs> I want to let everybody know that the next wave is gonna be this uh, up and coming Italian streetwear brand. Okay. okay. It's by an ex pro Italian skateboarder. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really, really fine material very fine okay. quality material quality all, yes we love it's, quality it's all italian made yes streetwear. anything italian street and so we love street details street. don't yeah. forget yeah. we're in it for the details and the embroidery very. the fabric the material the stitching everything is is like a one but this brand is called pazdemir mm. and i want everybody to hear that name right now pazdemir you Has remember been. where you heard it first and you can find it right here yeah and it's in and like we're in the light. first first yes. shop on the east coast to get it showing no yeah. name you heard it here first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our show. Nobody yeah. else is our I'm show. So, I'm so hyped about that. That's, yes. a, that's yes. a little hidden gem that like okay. I kind of I kind of stumbled on and, and like it's one of my that that's a cool brand man. Yeah. And what they're doing and the, the the concept behind it's like very well thought out. Like the name is French. Okay. Padumer. It means not of the ocean. It's in French. Uh, and that's like a kind of an anti surf reference since he's like a skater. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. Uh, look out for those guys. It's very oh, yeah, clean man. stuff. Yeah. yeah, man. That sounds great, man. That sounds mm-hmm. amazing. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Say. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we just want to thank you for coming through, man, and giving us that, that insight. That, that bomb life. was like, yeah. uh, Listen, bro, the whole thing of, of what the Wynwood and what, yeah. what, what, what Enlight is is just, like, great. So I'm trying to enlighten you. Yeah, man. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So you want to stick around and hang out with us while yeah. we talk about some of the Supreme oh, stuff that we got on the table? Yeah, let me just be quiet and not. You want to sit back and do some nice ones? I want to see these band-aids get popped open. Oh! oh he he spilled the beans! <laughs> That's okay. We're going to get into some open so, up some yeah. things. So today, we're going to talk about some of these cool accessories that you get for free. Yeah. Well, except for these. You have to buy these. But... <laughs> The stuff you get from Supreme that's just like the little knickknacks that are just so extremely So as dope. you guys know, when mm-hmm. the new season drops of Supreme, that first drop you get free um, knickknacks, accessories. Um, they've vanished from shower caps to toothbrushes to bouncy balls. They like are in it for the kid in you. Yeah. And um, Supreme has allotted us a lot of different things so yeah. those sne- stickers as well as the accessories that come out the stickers come out throughout the whole entire season um so either you get the box logos or sometimes you get something that's a little bit more interesting grant key show them the skull oh yeah you can show them that oh yeah oh my days uh, so we can get you can get a lot of different things that come from supreme and i am really really appreciative of them because they actually flip we're like, all um, here to make some money, guys. We're all here to make some money. <laughs> we're all here to ex- explain to you guys what the culture is and what it brings to with, uh, excuse me, for collectors and uh, people who like very dope things, brands. Yeah, man. Brands. Are- so, you want to pop something open? <laughs> You're like super excited for these babies. Like, ah! 
you you got something on it. Oh my god. I, oh, right. you know what? <laughs> I think you need to slip something on. Oh, look here. You see these? Fresh out the pack. Why put this on my hand, man? Show, show the camera uh, a little bit. Uh, there you go. Yeah, you gotta put it in your face a little bit. Camera love. Yeah, 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 it'll yeah, fit yeah. on my hand. It's way too big for my hand. I tried oh, to put them on. It doesn't work. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to catch any. I'm ready to catch a uh, Tom Brady spiral with these. Even though they're not football not even, They do have some football gloves. I will I'll show I'll those go, to you guys. Listen, man, I go, I go catch fish right now with these on, baby. Yes. Ooh. Uh, the grip, laser grip, and wow. grip. Man. You feel the grip on that? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's supreme handshake, buddy. Ooh. Supreme handshake, buddy. Supreme handshakes. All right, man. You guys. So what so else? Good. What else? Can we open up something else? I'm, I'm gonna take your ear uh, and do some of these band aids. So I, I was only able to get three. I was kind of sad about that. I love that they gave you an option. Generally on the accessories, they let you pick one. You have to go check out, start all over. Yeah. But with this, we had an option of picking up to three. So I went ahead and clicked the three. And by the time I got back to it, it was sold out. So I was happy that I clicked three. And these were what? They retail at what, like six bucks? Yeah, retail was six bucks. Retail Crazy, was not man. much money at all. I think they're going for up to $30 right now. A box? Or a box. Okay. A box. There are twenty ba uh, ten band aids. Excuse me. Ten band aids in a pack. Are you guys ready? Make sure you guys can see it. <laughs> no, I oh, you remember how you can push the? We use we use the products, man. That's how they want you. If I get a cut today, I'll put the supreme <laughs> stick, yeah. supreme band aid on it. <laughs> All right. One for you, sir. Oh You're not keeping that. That's mine. Uh, not <laughs> we'll see. One for you, we'll sir. We'll see about that. One for us camera people. Check it out. So I'm not we got. Mine. I see. Make sure you guys can see it. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna open mine. Oh, I was even showing you the wrong side. Yeah, you are. You still are. Yeah. Kind of dark. Let me see. Yeah. Bam bam. Bam bam. Yeah. Boom. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of really using a whole cut. So it's like kind of cool. Like, oh, just but, yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. putting it somewhere weird. I yes, know. there you go. I put it on oh my face. God, like, there you put it on your face like Nelly did back yeah. in the day. That's fire. There you go. Hey, hold on. There you go. Uh oh. Uh, That's okay. I'm gonna get you right. Here we go. Boom. Now, now conductor. Now, now, you're, now, you're now conductor. <laughs> now proceed. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. So, that all right, was so awesome. yeah, man, we got like all these dope accessories, man. Like Supreme in general, man. These accessories, a lot of these stuff that you get like for free. This is crazy, man. Yeah, it's it's crazy awesome. how like a lot of these stickers uh flip yeah. for nothing. Put it in my pocket. Yeah. There you go, Grant. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So yeah, man. So now that we got all that stuff out in the open, we got supreme on the table. We got you know. You get a okay, so these are freaking awesome. Band A brand. Oh, I, did you guys know that Justin Johnson made Band A brand? Yeah. Oh, well, I did. Yeah. I have something new every single day. So if you're That's like, pick up and read your box? Yeah, check that out. Can, can we take this other one out? No, the box? Mean, no, 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 no,
That's pretty awesome. Huh. And it looks just as good on the outside as it does on the inside. Look so it doesn't that. matter which way you flip it. Wow. <laughs> That's actually pretty dope. That's funny. Put it on my little twist. Wow. Hype shower. Yeah, you get a hype beast in the shower, guys. Yeah. But yeah, man. So we got this came out when that's pretty first, dope. And it's, it's pretty thick too. This was the first How'd you like this it? was the gift, right? That was a gift. That was a gift for 2019 uh, spring collection. Spring collection. Yeah, spring summer collection. But yeah, this is actually some pretty great. This is a good quality. Honestly. It's really thick. Like it I was is. like, it's kind of thick. I'm surprised. I was expecting like, like, like the one that you get out of the hotel, like, like the plastic like, one. Like, really, really, yeah, yeah, like nothing too clear. serious. Yeah. This seems like, like it's pretty good quality. It, it's a clear color, but you can't see through you it. Can now. Use, you I can like use the step that and repeat. For other stuff too. Oh lord, what you gonna use a shower cap? I don't know. You could put that on a basketball. Then you could fit that on a basketball. It won't fit the whole thing, though. No, no, no. No, you can't put the whole thing inside. I would do something with it. I'd put it. I'll like, put it on a bear. I'll chop it up and put it in a t-shirt. Oh yeah, you can put it, the, the you know? staples on it, or as like pockets on a, another thing. Like if you had a, a Louis yeah. Vuitton bag, oh. and you want to just stitch a pocket yeah. on there. Yeah. Or you could you could stitch that up and make that into a little bag. Oh, you can make it. Yeah, of course you can make put it into a bag. You might need one more one. We have several. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but it is really, it's really thick. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, and even says spring summer nineteen. Yeah. Oh, Tell the people about, about we got a bouncy ball here on the table. The man. bouncy ball right. was the free gift from fall of twenty eighteen. Yes, yes, free ball. This one is awesome. Twenty eighteen. Height bounce. Do I have? <laughs> okay, and then we have the spring twenty eighteen. Right here with the toothbrush. Travel toothbrush. I don't have anything from 17. Like in the beginning, I started collecting, I want to say during 20, I graduated from college 2014. So I want to say 2015, probably as soon as I came back. I was getting really hype on Supreme in 2013 through 2012. But I was selling all the things. I was so happy to get it and to get all the extra things. I saw how much they were going for. So I was selling and getting rid of it. <laughs> now I know a lot better. <laughs> Turn open it this way. Yeah. Um, a lot better to keep it. <laughs> to keep it. It's a, it's and a that's ten. a tin box. Uh, I think that came out 27, 2018. 2017 or 2018. Oh my gosh. Don't quote me no more, guys. I, I don't want to give out wrong dates. But I will put down a link, let you guys know when that one came out. A tin box came in two sizes that size and a larger size. Yeah. And what's in here is part of the <laughs> exclusive and like beyond section. In light and beyond. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Well, I, I can't have you guys open up toothbrush because I don't know about keeping this yet. Or if I'm going to sell it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like, but yeah, man, so. Dental hygiene. Hello, Supreme. Yeah. Giving us good hygiene, band aids, giving us shower caps. The no. step and repeat on the shower cap is really awesome. I like that. Because, you know, they could have just put one logo on the top. Yeah, they done with you. And or they like went ahead. Round, yeah, or like one like around. But they went ahead and like, they gave you everything. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, classic red. And you can true see it. Red. It shows through on both sides. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm like. That's, that's dope. I, yeah. I appreciate that. That's dope. I will definitely be using dope. my Supreme shower cap. <laughs> you got to keep the curls away, you know. Definitely It'll poof up in a minute. Definitely going to use one. You got there, man. Oh man, that that was from, that. that's probably 2016. That was a gift? That, yeah. All of the stickers are gifts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's inform the people. Um, all of these are free gifts. Everything on the table minus the shower caps and the light and the, no, the shower caps are a free gift. Excuse me, the light, the, light. the bandages, and the tin box. Everything else is yes. a gift. You order something you and You order comes. something and the You can order a, a pack of socks. Yes. And these these gloves here, these were actually an accessory piece that you, you had, had to, to purchase. Yeah, but you, you would have to, like, you could do something as simple as just, like, purchasing these gloves for, like, probably, like, yes. 40 bucks or whatever. And then, yeah, yeah, you get like, a whole, I remember, uh, uh, fall, fall, uh, fall, winter 18, I, uh, I ordered a pack of the yeah, Supreme the socks, socks yeah. and I got... The Scarface, two Scarface uh, stickers. Uh, and that's that's pretty late too. I got like four box logos. Um, what else? And they and they can always give you random stuff that could have came out collections ago. Yeah. They find something new, or they're grabbing up your stuff, and that just happened to be what they pick up. Yeah. 
it, you never you know what get you're anything. gonna get. It's you like a anything. Like Forrest Gump's mom said, life's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> life's like you're a never box gonna of know what you're gonna get. But yeah, man, Supreme is like a box of chocolates. But you gotta order it. Gotta order it, man. Hey, supply. A little bit of money. You gotta Just a little bit of money, man. A little bit of money. So our next thing we're gonna go into is this big topic of Sean Wilson. Oh, poor baby. I don't know if it's a poor baby type of situation because nah, his shoes man. definitely went up in price. Yeah, it's like happened, but we we're are talking about the the pros and cons of Sean, Sean Weatherspoon possibly Nike. not working with Nike anymore because there's that's the rumor. I don't know if you're into you know the Nike culture, you know Sean Weatherspoon. Where did this rumor originate? We don't know. Oh. But it's an unsubstantiated. Rumor. Yeah, it, it's kind of like still a it's rumor. A, that's why yeah. it's what it is. We're gonna put some leaks up here, let y'all know where we got it from. Yeah, but, but yeah. sad. Hey, but sad it, that part it, is going it's through. basically uh, to be honest with you, the only thing he's gonna do is make that shoe go up in price. What you have yeah, round like, two is gonna be the place. To only, only place. really the only. The I mean, only you might be able place. to find it online or I mean, whatever, but yeah, StockX will definitely still to be have able to home. walk in the store or anything yeah. like that and actually see the shoe. There's no more restocks. Round two. About to have. If there yeah. is a restock that you guys know about, though, you need to put that definitely yeah, put in the comments. Whatever. Do so not hold that information. Share that. We're sharing with you. Share, so that. share back. Yeah, okay? share with us, man. So but yeah. So what is it around this? Like, why so much hype? With this shoe, it's the only one of it. It was no. the originator of the split. Not even, not yeah. even that. Yeah, he's the first. He's the original to do the, originator the of it. The Ninety-seven but, and the one mission. Yeah, but to be honest, with, and then after that, Nike decided to start swapping their their Air Maxes. And then yeah. they swapped yeah. soles. So, 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 so many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. started that way. They started the trend. Actually, and that, so there's already all this hype. Plus the colors. Are yeah, the colors, out materials, of this world, the materials are out yeah. of this world. Was, Crazy. Because like when I first saw them, like the first thing that I ever did, that ever hit me, I was like, "Who's the vintage head behind that shoe?" Sean, Sean yeah, this one, man. Round two. Yeah, like, we're so happy to have him the, in Miami now. Who's yeah. the genius? Yeah, and so have you been? I way? have. Yeah. We just so, left there. We just left there earlier today. Both of them. Yeah, the vintage as well as the the Sick. resale store. Yeah. Very Sick. nice Very stores awesome. walking in. Yeah. yeah, and for those of you coming to Miami, cut out. About to leave Miami or thinking of coming yeah. to Miami, definitely come, definitely see round definitely two, round break, two vintage, come to it and yes. the regular round two. I was just pointing to my man, <laughs> Winwood Second Avenue. You know where he is. Yeah, man. <laughs> but round two though. Yeah, round right. Two. We're talking about Sean Winston right great, now. Great place. I mean, the store, to be honest with you, the way it looks. and, and I love what he's doing. Nice, like, even his yeah. one of one, or you, uh, I don't know if he made two of them, the, the patch, um, patch one, Air Max one that he's yeah. made. It, with that, the was patch, on it. That, that was a patch. That was amazing. It's really awesome, but we're not going to get that. And we might not even get the denim uh, 97 one that we saw earlier. The so sad. Navy. So unfair. So unfair. So yeah, we, we really want them so to So that's why that. I hope that this rumor isn't true. Right. I hope it's a, a but tall tale. I think tale. he said it himself. Yeah, I think so too. Ugh. Whatever, if you guys got research, <laughs> put it in the comments. Yeah. Like. And also, tell us where else he would go. Yo, like, yeah. Where yeah, else, where where else, else do you think, think he might go? <laughs> where else would he go? Question of the day. What, what other sneaker <laughs> company, brand. sneaker brand, brand in general? Yeah. Because he, he also did a collaboration with Guess. Yeah. And that was an awesome. Um, I feel like I feel like what's gonna happen with him is where that he's else would he go? To, what other company would he collaborate with? I feel like he's gonna be able to just do, do his thing and kind of collab with whomever he wants to collab. But it's gotta be point. a because he's a. Bro, that guy is like a big a, name right he's now. He's a he's a vintage hey, mega man. superstar. You know what I mean? A vintage anything, right? So like, it's definitely like if he goes somewhere exclusively, it's gonna be an older, very established. He's not going to Under Armour, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's right. gonna be a. It has some, to be a vintage brand, a brand that's been around yeah. for years because that's his. A that's his market. A nostalgic that's his market. brand. Uh, know, I'm just cu- I'm just curious. Like, you know, if it's a rumor, thank God. Just a rumor thing about. <laughs> but if it's not, like, man, I'm curious to see yeah. what happens I'm, next. I'm definitely, to be honest with you, just make it all be a lie. Come back to, 
Come on back to Nike. Right, come back, yeah. Come on back to Come Nike, back baby. to the heart of the sneaker yeah. culture. But, uh, so yeah. This is the end of our show. End of the segment. I always hate when this part happens. I hate. We, you know, we, we gotta it's keep too it much moving. Fun. It's, it's, this is a nice oh, vibe, man. Too much fun. We popping, love it. Popping, popping, popping out stuff boxes open. and popping stuff. Boxes. But do we want to open one more thing for the people? Nah, I'm just like, this nah, is my nah, face. let it stay closed. Face. No. We're out of here. This is showing no names. This is showing no names. I am R.E.B. Souls. I'm 1992 OG. This is our man right here, Grant. And like, come check us out. Check us out. We love you guys. Word. Subscribe. Do not forget like, to click the red button. Comment. And subscribe. Subscribe. Like the red skittle. Yeah.